Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here with part two of my Let's Play of the college football with Western Kentucky and the Dynasty. I appreciate everybody who watched the first video and definitely those people that subscribe. I know a lot of you guys are actually just my friends on Facebook, but I'm not going to tell anybody that. Um, you know, that first video was fun for me. You know, it sort of had that, you know, honeymoon feel where it was, you know, you're recording your first video and, you know, you just want people to watch it, you want people to like it, and then, you know, you look down and you've got 10 views, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed that, so I think I'm going to be doing this for a while, you know, you know, something about these videos is just, you know, really intriguing to me, and I mean, I'm not talking so much as... You know, the people who go 48 and 19 in Call of Duty and have to put it online. I mean, just generally, you guys just watching me play the game. Um, for instance, I play Tennessee next week, and this actually in my football series. So, I don't know how that's going to go. You know, UK, I, I have a natural hatred for these guys. Hence why I keep taking the football away from them and then running them into the end zone. Um... I have a natural hatred for these guys. So, I mean, I naturally want to see them lose. So, I'm not going to lose them. Now, Tennessee is a high-powered powerhouse um, on the game. In real life, not so much. So, you know, I'm a little worried about that game. And I'm going to put it up either way. So, if I get smacked by 50, you might not want to watch the video. Um, you know... It, it was, it's just really awesome, you know, recording and watching it on my computer and then going through there. And I'm not trying to get all sentimental about this recording and stuff. I'm a big advantage. Um, he makes it to the 38 yard but line. just wanted to go ahead. This is part two. Good job now, the thing about part two is part two is going to slow down a little bit game. because of the fact that, you know, I've already it's blown them out. And 11 to go. Um, I live recorded part one. This is actually a uh, post like recording he because of the fact here. that I just honestly, though I said at the end of my video I didn't, I ran out of stuff to talk about. So, I, you know, I let it go. Um, so I'm basically going to use this page to let you guys know a couple things that I have, you know, coming on in the future. Now, the commentary in this video is not going to be long. Um, so the majority of this video is going to be just straight gameplay. Again, I apologize for the language you will hear when I score a touchdown, but that does die down because I don't score as many in this, you know, this half. Um, starting on Tuesday, I'm going to have my first review slash gameplay with Tomb Raider, which I said in the first video. Um, so hopefully you guys check that out. Um, I've decided I'm going to leave all the cutscenes in, all that. So, if there may be some spoilers in there. If there is, I apologize if you didn't want to see them. And if you do want to see them, you're welcome. Um, and then going from there. I want to do something midweek. I want to maybe, I don't know, maybe WWE, maybe Halo 4 multiplayer. I want to do something midweek that doesn't have anything to do with my core stuff, which is going to be my sports games pretty much during the weekend, early week. Um, Tomb Raider, I mean, my new releases, but right now Tomb Raider on Tuesdays and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so I'll decide that. I might make it a wild card Wednesday, to be completely honest, where I randomly grab a card, uh, randomly grab a game off of my cabinet and just play it I only do one take so if I'm stuttering through this thing you guys have to deal with it um, do I grab a random game off my shelf and just put it in and then just do some recording with some commentary um, that, that's, that's what I really want to do with this page you know what happens with the page happens with the page. I'm not going to, you know, beg for it to be successful. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to play my game and put it on here for you guys to watch. Again, I just want to take a shout out for my quick subscribers, the people that added me right off the bat. Um, Though a lot of you are Xbox friends and, and Facebook friends, I do appreciate it because it does show that you do care about what I do. And, you know, you can't find that everywhere. Um, and to all my new subscribers who are probably going to come in around the Tomb Raider and the, you know, the more recent games, I appreciate that too. That was my little sister screaming, by the way. Um, 
with that, you know, with that other sort of thing, you guys. And, and just stay tuned and watch this. But for the rest of this one, just want you to enjoy the game. Um, just want you to enjoy the game and watch me blow out UK. If you like UK, I apologize, but y'all need to work on your football team. Fires it quickly. Fields was the intended receiver on that pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Touchback. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This receiver's been having himself a great game. Well, not only is he having a great game, but he also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team, seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. When you have this kind of world-class speed, all it takes is to make one guy miss, and there's nobody that's going to be able to catch up to him. Andrews gets about four yards on the play. It's second and six. Ball on their own 24. Western Kentucky with a commanding lead. Brought down at the 26-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Bring him down at the 11 yard line. Loss of three on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Well, it's not fourth down, but for some reason, the putter's on the field. The Hilltoppers will use their first time out of the half. From their own 11 yard line. Third down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of four yards. That brings up fourth and 15. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He hits a low one there. Calls for the fair catch. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's see how the top ten are faring today. Check out these two teams keeping it close. The Crimson Tide on top, 7-0. They still have time to put up a few scores. The question is, will it be enough, and can their defense make enough stops for it to matter? Ready. Green 90. Green 90. Hut. Quick strike to the back, no good. Williams was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it Second down, 10. 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. And a quick throw. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Taken down at the 40. That's three down and one to go. The Hilltoppers with a huge lead. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Set. 180. 180. That's a great tackle at the 45 yard line. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Cut. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. 
That brings up third and 14. So we're looking at another third down here. Back to pass. Zips it right. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Crimson Tide came into the game ranked number one. I'm not much for the whole statement game thing, but that was a statement. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. A tight game, two relentless fighters exchanging blows. Here we go. Hot. And down he goes around the 16 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 16. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. It's fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Looking to throw. Throws it to the outside. This one will fall incomplete. They'll start this drive at the 16-yard line. Western Kentucky up by a bunch. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. Loss of two on the play. That brings up third and 12. It's third down, 12 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. He drops back. He's on the run. He's out to the 30. Steps out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Action unfolding in Ann Arbor. We've been watching this thing all day long. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. And they'll run him again. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. From their own 32-yard line, second down. They'll option left. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tack. Cool. That could be a check with me right there. Now he's scrambling. He's to the 40. Slides down. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. A little over a minute in the game. Evans gets it on the counter left. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. It's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The back hits three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. We're down to just a minute in this game. Two, 
makes it to the 22 yard line. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Ducks had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. And for Oregon, they start the season with a victory. On the ground with the tailback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football. But for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Big go! Big go! Here's the give. They get on the board again. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Western Kentucky ready to kick this one off. Penalty flag thrown on the play. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. Makes it out to about the 46. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. And that should do it, our final tally in this one. Western Kentucky, 42. Kentucky, 3. And the Wildcats, 3. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? This was quite an upset that we witnessed today. Kentucky is a good football team with a lot of talent, but they lack one key element that makes college football so special. Pride. Where was their pride when they fell down by a couple scores? I didn't see it. What I saw was a good football team who just laid down and got walked all over. Here's a look at today's Player of the Game. For the Hilltoppers, they start the season out with a win. And for the Wildcats, they start out the season on the losing end. That's going to bring this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews, Kirk Herbstreit, and Reese Davis, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 13.